<laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Beacons of Balance. Thank you for joining us today. If it's the first time coming in, Beacons of Balance is about being in balance. Okay. This planet is a planet of duality, up, down, left, right, black, white. It'll never go away. So what we're here to do is, you know, a lot of us are living our lives like this. We're out of whack. So it's to live like right here. We're always going to be juggling mm -hmm. back and forth, but we want to be in this spot. So what we do is we bring to you topics um, different things that we talk about to help brighten and enlighten your lives, bring on wonderful guest speakers to share that with you. So thank you for watching, listening, come from your heart. So here we go. I'm our lead. I'm Joanne. <laughs> this is my wonderful co-host, Joanne. And down below is Jane, and we'll introduce Jane in a minute. So I happen to know that Jane Albright is a very talented gal that has worked on thousands of people in a, a variety of different areas of spirituality and different type of work to help all of us lift ourselves up on this on this planet. I happen to know you, Jane, also because you just happen to be married to Joanne's wonderful, talented son, Bob. <laughs> and Joanne, do you want to fill us in more about Jane? Wow. I am beyond blessed to have Jane Albright on our show today. Jane, you you know you're a blessing <laughs> in my life. Oh my gosh, where do I even start? I need like 40 <laughs> minutes just for your bio. Uh, you um, are what I call the Renaissance woman, Wonder Woman. You need a gold cape girl. She is trained in Akashic record readings. She is a medical intuitive. She's a trained Bengston facilitator. She's created a program called Sunray Laugh, which yeah. maybe we'll hear about that uh, later on. Um, all while running a multi-million dollar business, by the way. And if that wasn't enough, um, you were taking care of two young children I'm, that you birthed. Yeah. My little three-year-old Sage, my little Sagey Bear, mm -hmm. and Sophia. And you delivered Sage during COVID. Hello. <laughs> when you were 50 years old. Who does Very that? Masked, shielded. You're, I'm telling you, I don't know what planet you're from, but <laughs> I just look up to you like you were some goddess. You are a goddess. You're established in all the clairs. I know that you see things <laughs> in the future, and now your daughter has the gift. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. But, you know, today we're going to play. We're going to play um, with Sounds a different good today. energy yeah, set. Everybody. Arlene, this is going to be so much fun. You're going to love it. I, I, I'm going to. We're going to work it. This <laughs> Where do you want to start? So, so Jane, um, how did you get started on this journey of helping so many? And uh, was there anything, a significant event that happened in on your life that helped you turn to, you know, that made you, not made you, but you turned to spirituality yeah. or to a higher source? Oh, absolutely. I, um, well, I've had a higher source of awareness in my life because, you know, I got, you know, sent to church every Sunday and so on. But, um, yeah, in, uh, 2001, um, my, well, I should prep that the year before 2001, my youngest brother, he became depressed and maybe he was a little anxious or bipolar. We're not sure. Uh, and he, um, was prescribed antidepressants. And this is before we knew if you took yourself off of them, that you could have suicidal thoughts. And, um, great kid you know up until that point and so it was such a shock to know that you know once he he kind of took himself off of this because he just wasn't feeling like himself um so then in the summer of um 2001 he took his life and it was just it was a huge shock for all of us you know it was just you know he was talented happy you know big picture person you know he was so neat um so that threw everyone through a loop and I equate it to feeling like I was a Jenga puzzle, like talk about the most unbalanced you can maybe possibly be, you know, grief and loss to do that to people. Um, so I, I just felt like a big Jenga puzzle, like someone kept pulling my pieces, I couldn't calibrate myself again. I feel like I was always on one foot, you know, and um, there's, you know, a whole huge backstory to this, but I, I long story short, um, I started also seeing lights, which was so weird, like in people and like, also I'm looking, I'm sitting at the park and I'm looking around and like, I see little, it's like Christmas lights and everybody, it was just the weirdest thing. And I thought I was really losing my mind. Uh, my coworker, she's like, I think you're seeing chakras. <laughs> I thought, what's a chakra? I have no clue. 
And uh, she brought a book to me the next day and said, here, look, here are chakras. And then I'm like, but your first chakra, according to this, is supposed to be maroon or red and yours is green. Your third chakra is blue and not yellow. And she was just, is, she's like, am I okay? I'm like, oh, no, I don't even know what a chakra is, <laughs> you know? Um, and then, t- I mean, talk about, you know, blessed, 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 protected by angels, earth angels, etc. She was definitely my earth angel. She led me to her another another earth angel, which was her stepmom, who is uh, a shaman in New Mexico, <laughs> wow. um, who worked on me over the phone and and also then later in person. Every time she worked on me, I felt this incredible like tingly sensation. I felt just this flow of energy, something, you know, like I'm not plugged in and um, but I'm plugged in. And once I felt better, I was like, wow, I'm like, okay, I get it. Like I'm feeling slowly, you know, more of me. And um, I was hooked. I'm like, I have got to learn more of this. And lo and behold, like, you know, months later, a friend of mine who was definitely bipolar and even kind of suicidal, more matches <laughs> coming my way. Uh, he's like, hey, Jane, this meditation place really helps me out. I feel really good every Sunday. Do you want to come with me? And I said, yeah, let's do it. Anything for you. you know, I'm showing up for my friend. And I get in there and the owner, he takes one look at me and he goes, oh, you're here to turn it off. Because, <laughs> you know, when you see too much, you know, I, I was I was I was seeing spirits. I was seeing, you know, dead people and stopping my car when there was really nobody there. And it's very dangerous sometimes to see way too much. Um, and, uh, you know, so the, he helped me just kind of shut down everything, all my all the tools that were just opening up. And then they put me in their structure and then just slowly opened me up in a safe way. So now I have control of my chakras. I have control of my energy. And I'm going to share some of that with you guys today. It's going to be so much fun. Um, Did your brother... I'm ready. Let's just do this, Arlene. Aren't you... you, (laughs) uh, Jay, did your brother come to uh, see you when after that happened? Oh, gosh, yeah, absolutely. The I mean, I've been clear audio my whole life. I've been really aware of that. Um, I can remember, you know, playing with toys and hearing my name being called and looking for people that weren't, I couldn't really see at that time. Uh, so the, right after he passed, I, um, I heard, you know, Hey Jane, Hey Jane. Yeah, I could hear his voice. I even looked at my grandma. I'm like, did you hear that? And she's like, what? And I'm like, Oh, like, it's just me. <laughs> I can hear him. Um, and then he started, you know, when you go through loss, you're still in such shock. You can't, you're cloudy, you know, and, um, you have to wait for the clouds to kind of go away. So I told him, you know, please come to me in my dreams and, you know, make your dream be the last dream of the night so that I remember it when I wake up. Um, you know, and he, oh, he gave me so many dreams. I have like not enough time to share that, but yeah, well, it's probably a book or something or another whole video, uh, dreaming with spirits who have passed. Um, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And that's comforting. Oh, it's so comforting. He it healed me in so many ways as that. well. It Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Your daughter, Sophia, has the gift yeah. that you do. She remembers oh, yeah. past lives with you in Paris. Mm-hmm. Just so many things she's oh, jo- Joanne, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I told you this one. When like when I, I was sitting out at a, a cafe with her when she was a little like three years old, three and a half, right in that you know juicy <laughs> zone. Yeah. And she's like, Mom, I remember you coming here when I was in your belly. And I go, huh? really? And she's like, yeah. She's like, you ate so much. She's like, the food was on my head. Oh, and then, and then she goes. So I just went to outer space. Oh my god! <laughs> it was just too much food on her head. And that little Sage, your three-year-old, yeah, my little grandson. God, I love that baby. Yeah, he is, he's got to be a former rocker from the seventies. Oh yeah, absolutely. Last- he loves this thing. He's making up his own songs and everything. Dust in the wind. <laughs> All these seventies. I'm like, what? Is this kid doesn't know these songs. He knows yeah. every word. So say after that loss, you know, I, I started signing my name with Joy Jane because I knew in order to be back in balance, I had to immediately start reclaiming my joy. Right. So even if I was crying my eyes out, I was like, with Joy and <laughs> Jane, you know, just to take those little baby steps to get back into balance. That was my first real step. Actually. Right. Well, my, you and your husband, my son, are two special <laughs> sons on this planet for sure. So... And to birth these two children, um, I can't imagine what they're going to do this in the future. <laughs> oh my gosh! So where do we want to start? Let's talk about the energy centers. Um, yeah, um, go ahead. You're going to talk about chakras, just because of our audience. We don't know who's tuning in at what point, and um, 
you know, we know it because we've yeah. been doing this so long, but a lot of people don't know even what a chakra is. Exactly. Just when... a little synopsis of that before we start. Absolutely. I'm always aware whenever I'm teaching, especially virtually, that, you know, I can be preaching to the choir. So, you know, if you're like, oh, I already know that, Jane, you know, just hang out. Thank you for your patience. And you have <laughs> a gold star for all your knowingness and work you've done in your past, even past lives. You know, we, we know you know. <laughs> but yeah, like I was definitely one of that girl who was like, what's a chakra? I had no idea what it was. I had to read, you know, I read lots of books. I went to this school and and learned about, you know, and even like when I went through my education about the chakras at my school, they didn't even show us a single picture. They got us involved in like our own chakras. We would like wor working clairvoyantly, looking at our own space, looking at our own power centers and stuff. So, um, but I will definitely give people structure uh, and just, you know, I always imagine someone's just like me. What's a chakra? I don't even know. Well, we have lots of chakras. We have seven main ones that kind of travel along our spinal column. And they come attached with all these different themes, which I love working with. Um, each center is, is like it's an energy center. So we, you know, if you ever just look at someone and go, oh, they just have low energy. What's wrong with them today? Or if we've got, oh, my God, she has so much energy. Where, you know, how does she look? All of our energy centers, they're, you know, constantly you know, propelling and or they're wanting to move, but sometimes we get blocked. We get blocked by sadness. We get blocked by um, our own selves, our brain, <laughs> our thought patterns, and that slows things down and makes our energy lower. So each of these main ones, I'll take you through them real quick. So there's one that's, um, I kind of, if you're in yoga and stuff, it's kind of near the sits bone. So you're kind of sitting on it near your tailbone. That's the first chakra, often called the root. And um, it's the safety, well-being, and money space. So that's always a juicy place to go. Then the second chakra is three finger widths below your belly button. and still kind of tucked in by your spinal column. This is your second chakra, your sexual, sensual, and emotional space. And I always tell people I keep it PG-13. I learned the hard way, like, oh, you know, too much stuff. I don't trespass, just so everyone's no. aware. And then um, move up a three finger widths above the belly button and a little bit below the rib cage is the third chakra. This is the power center. We're going to focus on this one today because I just think so many people like need this and it's going to help everybody exponentially. Um, and this is the power center, masculine and feminine power. We all have both. It's also the connection to your dream space and astral travels. And I find it's the one chakra that really lights up when we're going into past lives too. It's so fun. Um, so fourth chakra, of course, is the heart. How do we not know where that one is? It's your love for yourself and love for others, your ability to share and be passionate uh, in your life. Then your fifth chakra, of course, is in your throat, your communication zone. And this one is always a little fun for me, too, because it's all about being heard, but it's also about being a good listener. We need the full spectrum of communication going on. Uh, then uh, also we go to the sixth chakra, which is kind of the center of your head. It's near the pineal gland. So if you kind of make a little bridge between, you know, the bridge of your nose, back of your head, and between your ears, that cross section is uh, right where your sixth chakra is. This is your clairvoyant space, the place where you see energy and kind of our daydream space. So anyone who's out there going, I don't know if I can see energy, Jane. I think that maybe if you're daydreaming or if you can picture what you had for breakfast this morning or where you were yesterday, that's where we're looking. It's the same place. Uh, then also bring your energy up to, you know, attention to the crown of your head, your seventh chakra. This is the chakra of wisdom and higher source information. And it's just a real beautiful, special place. People, we refer to getting downloads all the time when we get great ideas or instant information. Um, so those are the seven main ones. And I'm actually going to introduce you today to a couple of little ones that don't always get huge attention when meditating. We have little feet chakras, chakras in our feet near the arch of our feet, and also in our hands. This is, you know, the healer zone, of course. Oh, <laughs> no zapping yet, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of the basic structure. There's so much more to, to it, but that's the main structure. Um, now, would you like me to talk a little bit about balance, imbalance with all those themes, you know, um, maybe. Yeah, uh, great. yeah so. You know, it's kind of like we can all kind of logically even consider, you know, all of that. Like, you know, oh, we go to the, the safety, well-being, money space, our first chakra. Well, what would be an imbalance there? You know, oh, I'm always poor. I have no money. I can't get well. I'm always suffering. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. Or I feel afraid. I'm afraid all the time. I have anxiety. 
Uh, that's you when know, someone's like suffering from anxiety. It's the first place I go is, you know, we have a grounding cord that connects us to the earth and first chakra that's for grounding. Um, and then, you know, to work on that, we shift the energy and bring it over and go, oh, look at that. We're going to clear all those fears. We're going to clear that lack and we're going to bring forward and pivot into more abundance, more positive thinking, um, more safety. How can you create safety and well-being and vitality for yourself? Um, and do you want me to keep going with the other sh chakras or um, yeah or just, this was an I, advanced class and we could do this I know because I kind of like to just get us kind of set up to uh, run some tools and yeah. uh, we can kind of I feel like today we could also just kind of clear all of them in a real simple way exactly and, um, and then create forward from that does that sound good <laughs> well give yeah give the listeners some good tools yeah no I like to I just, you know, I'm the, I'm not always the girl that's like going to teach you all the little scientific details. I'm the girl that's going to give you the, you know, the proof is in the pudding. So we'll see how you feel uh, after this and so on. Awesome. Okay. So if Arlene and Joanne are willing to play. Yeah. yeah. Holly's yeah. ready to play let's right play. Let's play. <laughs> Okay. That's our middle right. name. I know. Plays my middle name. <laughs> You're so cute. All right. So um, we're going to have our eyes, you know, close because it's meditation a little bit. You'll see me open and close my eyes a little bit. Sometimes I see energy with my eyes open, but sometimes when I close them, you can see them better. Um, we could do a little, um, you yeah, let's just go and get set up. Or I'm going to take you to a grounding cord and don't worry about, you know, oh, I need to teach this first. We're going to go down into it and I'll get just set up. So just follow me. And if you can't see anything, don't worry. Just trust that it's happening. Maybe you can feel it. You know, we're all different. I just want to say not everybody sees energy right away. And there's we have our strengths and our weaknesses. So just go ahead and meet, meet us where we are. And uh, here we go. So as you have your attention behind your eyes, big breaths are really nice. Nice big breath just to relax and say, hello, body. I have a body. Oh, my gosh. How cool is that? I love my body. Thank you, body, for supporting me. Whew and everything <laughs> and so next just take a little inventory just kind of scan yourself from head to toe nice and slow and just kind of ask your body and your energy hmm where am I even holding my stress where am I tired where have I been holding my joy maybe like right now my cheeks are hurting because I haven't smiled this much <laughs> until you get I'm smiling so much with you guys it's so fun it's, it's 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 good good tension. <laughs> and just do a quick check in, a little before picture. And once you have that, join me in gently bringing your attention downward to your first chakra again. That's the one that you're kind of sitting on near your tailbone. And I want you to just tune into your first chakra. Whether you're trying to kind of like I'm just bringing my attention here. I'm going to try and feel it. Maybe you can see some colors and just tell your first chakra to be open 100% and spinning. And sometimes we can look at it as an umbrella that opens and spins. What color is your umbrella? Beautiful. So as we're getting our root chakra open, we always want to give ourselves a grounding cord for safety. So let's go ahead and a grounding cord is a cord of energy that connects anything to the center of the earth. And so what I want you to do is picture like a nice deep color. We want to stick you know, within like, you know, plums and forest greens, deep pinks. Just create a cord of energy or chakra and send it all the way down to the center of the earth. cord you can widen it to your hips you can even widen it out to the edges of your aura if you put your arms all the way out that's kind of the edge of your aura you can always have more grounding this is a passive grounding this is a grounding most people know when they're meditating we're going to activate it though and maybe you feel a gentle pull as we connect to the earth frequency down below in the center of the earth the earth energy is so just divinely slow and calm. I always love Mother Earth. If you say, hello, Earth, and Earth might gently say, hi, how are you? She kind of slows things down and calms things down. As we're connecting, we are clearing anything that is old, 
stuck or someone else's, one of my favorites. <laughs> and now we're going to activate. So go ahead and bring your attention now over to your right foot chakra. Your right foot chakra. Tell it to be open 100% and spinning. Again, it's kind of in the arch of your foot, in the center of your foot. You might even feel it buzzing a little bit if you're really clairsentient. And give it also a grounding cord all the way down to the center of the earth. It can be the same color as your original grounding cord or a different color. Sometimes our feet get picky. And of course, the left foot chakra is like, hey, what about me? Tell your left foot chakra to be open 100% and spinning. And then also give it a grounding cord. Send it all the way down to the center of the earth. And now we're going to tune into earth frequency. I want you to pick an earthy color of just, it could be like Sedona red, it could be a terracotta, or we're here in the Midwest in a deep, deep, you know, dark soil color. Pick a deep, beautiful, earthy frequency. And I want you to bring that color upward into the two grounding cords towards your feet. So bring those on up into your little feet chakras. Let that earth energy come in and start to clear and neutralize any stuck energy there. Our feet are where we take our next steps. So keeping these chakras clear help you move forward, help you have fewer obstacles. Now bring that earth energy up into your leg channels. Your leg channels are just like little areas, just like a little tunnel where you can send energy up and make sure those channels are as wide as your actual legs and bring it up into your hips. We have a little hip chakra. See how much you're learning today. And then bring that earth energy into the front of your first chakra where it begins to clear and neutralize any energy that is getting in the way of you having more safety, having more vitality, having more money. And then let it flow down the back of your first chakra into that first grounding cord that you made. And this is what I also call the earth seatbelt. And earth energy can move very fast and very powerfully. So you can activate it even more if you want to bring in more earth energy and bring it up and around and down. Or just make it really comfortable and calming. I always remind people when you deal with mudslides and stuff, think how powerful the earth is. Like mudslides can move houses, trees, bridges. You know, it clears things away. And we're not getting muddy. We're just doing earth frequency, though. All right, now I want you to gently bring your attention slowly upward. And come up back up behind your eyes. And we're going to do one more shift up here. I want you to bring your attention now upward about four feet above your head. And I'd like you to picture a beautiful gold sun for yourself. And this gold sun represents your own divine spark energy. And again, it can be 100%, 100% yours. Make it how you want it to be. Maybe you have an orangey gold, a pinky gold, sparky gold, you know, fairy dust gold. Really make it yours. And then I want you to gather some of those sun rays. And I want you to bring them down into your crown chakra. And tell your crown chakra to be open 100% and spinning. And just note that all the while you're underneath your gold sun, all this beautiful gold energy that is yours is already filling in all the places that you're clearing with your grounding. As you bring in those gold beams into your crown chakra, let it overflow and flow down the back of your head where we have other channels. There's two channels and then have it go down the back of your neck to your shoulders. And we're just going to send it down all of our back channels, our meridians, just send it all the way down to the back, all the way down to the back of your first chakra where it meets with the earth frequency. And, and earth. And we're going to bring a combination of earth and gold from the first chakra. Actually, before we leave the first chakra, I want to check in. So with the grounding, we can set an intention. And actually right now, I want to just pause or just hang out here in the first chakra. And can you open your eyes for just a minute, you guys? I want to just check in 
And then um, I want to introduce you to a clearing tool and a creation tool. And then we'll go up the whole Shashumna with both of those. Okay. How are you doing? Just doing great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're moving, moving, moving. Okay. Just want to check in. I always like to make sure everybody's no headaches, no stomach aches, nothing. No. Oh, oh. Everything's good. Okay. Beautiful. So um, with our eyes open, um, this is for people at home too, because I know, I, I think you guys are quite visual, um, but this is some little practice you can do when you're just warming up to see energy. Uh, you can see if you can picture a red apple, maybe a little red apple kind of floating around and you kind of with your mind's eye go, hmm, I know what an apple looks like. Maybe you picture it in your mind. Maybe you can push it out a little bit, see if you can see it like Hogwarts style floating in front of you. Wherever you can see an apple, um, make it go from red to blue. Let's change the color. Make it go from blue to lime green. From lime green to purple. From purple to orange without making it into an orange. Okay. <laughs> Gorgeous. And then yellow. Make it yellow. This is just like quickie little things you can do just to practice seeing energy better. And just to get you a little warmed up. Because we like to, I like to work with roses. The image of a rose, we use it for all kinds of things. And today I'm going to teach you how to use it to clear for yourself and how to create for yourself. <clears throat> and when you clear things and create things, you come into more balance. You come into more passion. You come into more energy for yourself in your life. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> we are in the first chakra. Again, this is safety, well-being, and money space. So we're going to put up a rose. And also, I also tell the guys, if you don't want to do flowers, you can do footballs, you know, something like that. That's all good. Um, go ahead and put up an image. I work with roses. And we're going to use this kind of like a universal shredder or a wastebasket. I like to shred things. So everything we put in here is going away. <clears throat> so we're in the first clearing rose. Anything that has to do with lack, anything that's going to be getting in your way of having more abundance, more fun, more energy. And if you're really visual, you might see little clouds leaving your space. Um, you might see past lives. Sometimes I'm getting, I'm just kind of tuning into Joanne and Arlene here and maybe potential future viewers. Um, we're not always tuning into past lives, but please put all your past lives where you were ever poor. Put those into this clearing rose, for goodness sake. Let's unmatch from all those awful lives. You've already survived them, so check. <laughs> You're done. Beautiful. And let's put in all illness. Every time you've ever been ill, maybe in all of your lifetimes and this lifetime, anytime you've ever been sick, ill, um, wounded, hurt, Anything that's ever made you feel unsafe. Oh, let's put all creepy people into this rose. <laughs> and we're going to work with this clearing rose on one hand and a creation rose on the other. Okay, we're going to move up the Shushimla with two roses. So pick your side, put one on one side, one on the other. Clearing rose. Beautiful. And now we're going to create. So bring your attention over to the creation rose and make this rose beautiful by the way it could be rainbow it can have pixie dust make a gorgeous rose for yourself the clearing rose not so it doesn't need too much just needs to be there okay so we're going to create here in the first chakra so ah give picture yourself really vital and you know for some of us <laughs> we're up there you know i'm like 55 right now uh i like to go back to when i was 28 i think i was rocking and uh let's go ahead and put you know maybe another time zone in there too where were you? What were you when you felt the best in your body, the best in your life? You were the healthiest you've ever been. Oh, and if you don't have one in this life, you can tune into a past life or make one up. Just picture yourself healthy and vital, having fun in your body. And oh, let's see here. Let's, uh, hmm, I want to tune into the feeling on this one. How does it feel to be financially free? How does it feel to own everything? Everything that you want to have, you own it. Done. Everywhere you want to go, you can go. Whatever you want to have, you can have. Whatever choice you want to make, you can make that choice. What is that feeling of freedom? See if you can feel freedom in every cell in your body right now.
And as you're feeling that freedom, see if you can give it a color. What's your color of freedom? Financial freedom, especially. Maybe freedom in your body. You're in a cast or something. You're like, I can't wait to get my arm out of this cast. What's my freedom in my body? And go and put all of that and those intentions, those colors into this creation rose. Gorgeous. And then we're going to move up. We're going to bring our earth energy and our gold energy up into our second chakra. The sexual, sensual, and emotional space. <clears throat> we're going to focus on our clearing rose. As we clear... Well, first of all, let's just get rid of any uglies. You know, we're beautiful today because we curled our hair and stuff. But let's go ahead and put the, in the, all those moments in the mirror where you're like, oh my God, like we're, that's a wrinkle, that's a wrinkle, here's the gray. <laughs> put all those little uglies into the into this rose to clear it. Any days where, you know, you felt like a Django puzzle. You had some loss, you had some tragedy, the emotions were not where you wanted to live. You were living in Heartbreak Hotel, let's clear that. Gorgeous. Cool. Oh. Let's clear any people. And as you know, as we clear people, we're not hurting them. We're actually giving them their energy back, which is actually a healing. I always had a little issue with that along the way. It's like I'm, I'm helping them. I'm giving their energy back to them. And uh, so let's go and clear people who have been, you know, maybe snarky or complaining or, you know, just things that got under your skin, rubbed you wrong. Maybe they were harmful. This is, you know, second chakra. This is that sexy place, but it's sometimes not so sexy depending on what's been happening and what has happened in your life. Clear all perpetrators. Absolutely. Nice. Then, let's see here. <laughs> There's a lot of energy on that one. Bear with me. <laughs> oh, let's see here. This is also an ancestral connection when we're down in the kind of the baby maker. This is where we also connect a lot of lineage issues. So if you have, um, if you've been kind of in the the chain of events in your family, say everybody gets breast cancer, or everybody's an alcoholic or whatever, this is a beautiful place to unmatch. Um, I highly recommend picturing like a string of pearls. If all the pearls are white, make your pearl a different color. We are unmatching. And put all that pattern into the clearing rose. And now let's shift our attention to the creation rose to the other side here. And put on our sexy. What does it feel like? You've had those days where you're walking down the street. You got the right dress, the right shoes. That guy goes, hey, hey, beautiful. And you're like, yeah, I know. I'm feeling good today. Put all those feel-good vibes. And if you've never had one, just make one up. Or if you've seen a movie where there's a character, you know, we can all be pretty women, you know, working it. And uh, put a little sexy, put a little energy into your second chakra creation rose. And then let's tune into all the emotions that you'd rather live in. You know, sometimes when we're in grief and we're in sorrow, you know, to me, those are hotels. I'm staying the night, I'm staying the week, and then I'm out of here. Let's go find the house of emotion that I want to live in. I want to live in peace. I want to live in serenity. I want to live in tranquility. What's the name of your house of emotions that you'd like to live in or how's this? And put those emotions where you'd rather be into this rose and picture yourself happy. We may be surrounded by other people who are in that same emotion. You can put yourself in a room where you're all calm and meditative. And put that into the rose. Picture another room where you're just jamming out on a dance floor or you're at a cool concert with so many people having a blast, put that in the rows. I'm getting an athletic picture now. Let's say maybe we're running, we're doing something athletic. Put that into the rows. Picture yourself strong also here, strong and vital. This is also a place too where if you've been infertile or you're having uh, fertility issues, picture yourself pregnant, picture yourself Conceiving a baby, birthing a baby, all of that stuff. I've got a whole other slew of information around infertility. <laughs> so hit me up for that. Um, there we go. Whatever you want to create next. It's a creative zone. Gorgeous. Now go ahead and let's 
We're going to leave the second chakra and move on up into the third chakra. And this is the power center. I was wanting to hone in on go full force here. Power center is kind of almost everything. We start with a vision or a passion and so on. But if we don't have our third chakra balance, what can we do? So third chakra has feminine energy and masculine energy. The feminine energy is on our left side and the masculine's on our right side. And what if I want you to do here, if you can, picture, 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 right? I want you to try and tune into your feminine side, that left side, side of caring, creativity, and heart, and dreams. I want you to tune into your dream space and just see what dreams are trying to filter down. They're trying to download, come into your feminine side. It's that creativity. Am I supposed to be writing a book? Am I supposed to be painting? Am I, what am I doing? What are my, what's my vision for myself that's coming through my dream space? And then as you pull that down and through and in, I want you to picture your feminine side. Maybe you picture a little mini me, like hey, here's my feminine. And I'm going to reach my hand out. And I'm going to reach my hand out to the masculine side of me. The masculine side that gets things done. That is the force. That is powerful. And if anyone's a mama bear here, we know we got even more power when we become moms because we just, whew, we protect our baby cubs. <laughs> just all this power comes forward with, mo with being a mother. So just know bringing that feminine, shaking hands with the masculine so they work together. When there are blockages, and we're going to clear some blocks right now. Get your what? little okay. rose up here for clearing. Tune into any obstacles that have been getting in your way of creating and actually manifesting, making things happen. If you're like, wow, I want to write that book, but it just doesn't happen. Or I want to join that gym, or I want to do this with these people, or I've got this vision, but it just doesn't seem to transpire. You seem to have the dreams, but then the masculine side's like, for whatever reason, I can't do it. I'm not ready to do it, or you're not shaking my hand. Sometimes we get overwhelmed. Let's ask the feminine side to maybe slow down a little bit. The masculine gets overwhelmed. It's like, oh my God, you're giving me a hundred things. I just want two. <laughs> Give me two things, please. So let's adjust, make some adjustments. Clear any overwhelm. Clear any blockages. Beautiful. So we're going to adjust that. Just one thing to do. I can totally do that. Now picture yourself sitting down, getting focused. What's this book about? And then pretty soon the masculine just starts writing and writing and writing, going, oh my God, this is so much fun. And all of a sudden the masculine goes, you know what? I think we've got more books. And then it goes back to the feminine and goes, hey, what other ideas do you have? And the feminine goes, oh, I've got 10 more books. And the masculine goes, I just want one. Okay, bring one more book through. And so let them bounce and balance together. One request to one answer, the other one could answer and bring them onto the same page. Create your own flow that actually works for you. So picture yourself flowing, creating, getting things done, one thing at a time, baby steps, three things at a time if you can. Put a picture of yourself just rocking and rolling in your life and put that into the rows of creation. When you're able to weave three major things together, I call that a sacred groove because, boy, it can get crazy. <laughs> you're like, I have three things today, and they're all different, and I love them all. But I have to balance it. Talk about balance. Let's go ahead and move our energy now, Jelly, up to our heart space. And again, this is our love zone. Let's go to the, the clearing rose. And in this rose, of course, let's go ahead and put all of our exes and send them back down to Texas. Oof. <laughs> Old school way. And so funny. I love it. I can go a million miles a minute and then all of a sudden spirits like make sure they clear any insecurities. <laughs> like, okay, so clear any insecurities that you may have had about your love, your relationships, who you are in your own love life. And and the pattern that's kind of coming through right, in me, right now with me that's channeling through is, you know, maybe unmatch from dysfunctional patterns that have been in your life from your mom or your dad, family, lineage, generational abuse. 
clear that out. It is not you. It doesn't have to be you. It can stop with you for sure. So put that any old patterns that are negative about your love zone, put that into this clearing rose. Gorgeous. This rose is getting bigger and bigger as we go up and up and up. And now I want you to, whew, anything that's been getting in the way of your passion and your creativity, put that into this rose. And then we're going to shift to the side and go over to our creation rose. And I want you to put into this oh, passion and love for yourself. What does it look like when you love yourself from the moment that you wake up in the morning? What do you do or what do you do differently? Some of us wake up and go, oh, it's so early. <laughs> Can you wake up and go, oh, wow, I've got a body. I'm still here. I, have a, I love my life. I love my body. What am I going to do today? So try and shift that. Oh, it's so hard. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm not a morning person. This, that's been my challenge is waking up in the morning going, yay, morning. <laughs> Woo -hoo. And then picture yourself doing the things you love. Whether you like to play the piano, or you like to paint a painting, make space and time for yourself every day to do something that you love, even if it's five minutes, even if it's 20 minutes, just do something for you that you love for yourself. Then, as our cup runneth over, be ready to share. Can you share your love with others? Can you invite people in? What does it look like when you share love? And um, oh, so, but I'm getting my, I get this image a lot of like a, a basket full of cookies. So there's a little check-in point for everybody, especially if you're at a party or out with people. If you have a basket full of cookies, are you giving away all your cookies? <laughs> Do you save any cookies for you at all? So make sure you're not overgiving because when we love, 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 we tend to overgive and our heart's big and it's wonderful, but then we can get depleted. We don't want that. So give out some cookies, but make sure you keep at least one cookie for yourself, if not more, if you love them. There we go. So picture yourself with abundance of love for yourself and others. Gorgeous. Let's go and bring your attention up into the fifth chakra. The fifth again is the communication space. And we're going to work with the clearing rows. Let's clear any imbalances. Let's clear anything, anything that's, I'm getting like sometimes we get pillows or clouds over our head. It's getting, clear those clouds, clear, clear those pillows. And maybe we're not the good listener. Maybe we're just, you know, bouncing around. Someone says something and we're like, huh? And we have to repeat it over and over. Clear anything around your ears, being a better listener. Here we go. Clear all that. And we're going to go to our creation rose on the other side. And let's create clarity, understanding. We can put in there, I hear you and I'm heard. I'm heard. They heard me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is a great place to also create if you're um, especially a healer, working your connections to you know, having better clear audience and audience. And, um, you know, we can create pictures where it's like, I, I, we all have the same structure, so we all have the same ability or, you know, capability to have these gifts to actually hear and see energy. And this is definitely a good zone to practice in. Okay, and a couple more shifts here. You guys are doing great. I know it's a little long haul, but oh, it's still so good when we're done. Ah, go up to the sixth chakra. This is, I also call it the center of my head because <laughs> it's kind of like a room. And I want you to kind of picture the center of your head, maybe a little bit as a room. And we're going to clean it out a little bit for some people. Uh, use your clearing rose and as you're tuning into your sixth chakra. If you've been hearing other people's thoughts in your mind, like, oh, my mom, she's, I know my mom just said this, or you feel like you're a little haunted by other people's opinions or judgments, just go and put them into this clearing rose. It's okay to have a little editor inside, but still don't let it get you blocked. You want to still be able to just move forward with your vision. Okay. So that's clearing. Oh, let's uh, put any, um, let's see, clear any filters or any, making your house more like, make, making your view of yourself a little more like a funhouse mirror, you know, view mirrors. <laughs> and then let's go to our creation rows on the other side here. And let's tune into your clarity. I see everything clearly. I see everything truthfully. 
I see the truth of who I am. I see the truth of people. I see the truth of my vision. And what is your vision? What are your next steps? This is the this is where everything begins. If I can see it, I can have it too. That's what I tell myself every day. And I can manifest whatever I'm envisioning. So begin to picture, maybe you have some next steps. It's been a little hard to take lately. Picture one of those next steps right now. Picture yourself doing it. And while you're picturing yourself doing it, make sure you also see yourself completing it. It's done. It's done in what's next. It's done in what's next. Come into balance with your vision and your creations. Gorgeous. Now one more shift up to our seventh chakra on the top of our head. Crown chakra, of course. And we have a lot of wise people, I think, that are watching this. We are beacons of balance here, yes. So a lot of times when you're the wise one, it's kind of like we're a big uh, swing pool. <laughs> Other people are playing in our information. They can go get their own answer. You'll know you're having a little blockage here because people will come to you for your answers and then they get mad at you because it didn't work for them. <laughs> so Bump. here we go. I'm just going to clear that. Let's clear any um, smaller connections. You know, we're all on Wi-Fi now, which is so much fun. We said broadband now we've got Wi-Fi. But if you feel like your connection to your higher self or your other astral connections are more like a dial-up, please clear any old patterns, old connections. And then let's go to our creation rows. And let's picture ourselves being connected broadly, widely to whatever we're needing. You can, this is a great place to call in, like, you know, I have the information when I need it or even before I need it. Sometimes I will get attracted to information, I'm like, why do I need this? I'm like, oh, that's why. Okay, got it. It creates a little psychicness if you're open to that. And um, beautiful broad connections. You can also um, indicate that you're open for your answers uh, quickly and clearly and aligned with your truths. And that your answers are for you only unless, you know, you want to share. Like we're all, we're teachers here too, so we love to share. I don't mind having people splashing around in my pool. <laughs> there we go. All right. So what we want to do now is we're going to take that clearing rose that's maybe bigger than your head now. And we're going to take that rose and put anything else you want to clear here, anything that's popped up, any old memories, old people, old situations. Throw everything into this rose that you can. And we're just going to send it all the way up, send it up to the moon if you want, send it far, far away. And this is fun if you're clear audience. Just blow it up. And it might look like fireworks. Sometimes the energy is really pretty. It just fills this big sky with lots of beautiful colors and fireworks. Because all that energy is going back to other people. It's not mine. It's somebody else's. It can go. You to heighten it. I want you to make whatever rose you're looking at right now, whatever colors you're seeing, I want you to infuse it with divine light. Make it the neon version of whatever you're looking at. And put a pink ribbon around the stem. I just like to send it off with some joy if you want. And when you're ready, go and let it float up into the ether as a message to the spirit's world and everything that helps us in the universe that this is where I'm working now. This is where I'm working now. And what I want to do next is, as this is floating up and out, I want to take this huge shift that we just did. We just cleared a ton of stuff. We created a ton of stuff. I want to say hello to all of our space, all of our chakras. And I want to invite you to ask your whole space to line up to everything we just did, to shift, expand, and radiate outward shine from the inside out this new frequency this new version of you that's coming through and send it out into all we have all these little bitty chakras send it all the way out out into your aura layers gorgeous and now we went through this kind of slowly because i wanted to hit all the themes and just give everybody this amazing clearing and creating today but i also want to just bring you back real quick to your gold sun it's above your head, your divine spark energy. It's 100% yours. It will not work for other people. They cannot take it. And 
Again, picture that gold energy going down into your crown chakra, down your back channels, into the back of your first chakra, up the front with the earth energy, and then all the way up through your crown. And then bring your attention one more time to your throat chakra. And bring some of that earth and gold from the from the fifth chakra down into your shoulders and into your arms, your arm channels. And our arm channels are actually our creative channels. So they're very important to everything we want to create forward with. Make sure your arm channels are as wide as your actual arms. And then open your little hand chakras, make them bigger, 100%, have them spinning. You might feel a little tingly in your hands. And then just let all of your energy flow out of your hand chakras, out into your aura layers, where it just kind of recycles and gives a nice healing to all your aura layers. And if you want, you can ask your gold energy to flow through you faster, stronger. Sometimes if I'm really having a hard day, I'll say, be like a Brillo pad and clear this out, please. And I want you to sit with this just for a moment. Feel the energy coming out of your hands. You can also place your hands on your body wherever you've been needing it. And as you're doing this, I want you to take a little after picture. Scan yourself from head to toe. And see how you're feeling now. Are you the same? Are you different? And when you're ready, go ahead and come on out. And I hope that wasn't too much of a barbecue for everybody. <laughs> that was powerful. I wanted to give you a taste of everything. That was the quickest way I could think of doing it. You well, did. It's not everything, but like the basic. That's the foundation. This is the foundation. Yeah. Wow. My hands are still <laughs> buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. How are you feeling, uh, Joanne? You Great. mentioned your hands are buzzing. Yeah, my hands are literally buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Arlene and myself on a beach in Tahiti in our bikinis. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yeah. We can visualize vacations anytime, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, about the bikini one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, own, just own it. <laughs> got gorgeous yeah. bodies. Gorgeous body. Yeah, absolutely. That, yeah. Jane, that was wonderful. Um, that was I wonderful. Mean, Thank you so oh, much. Because I've been in pain, so it was... It oh, was... no. Okay. Well, I hope, yeah. Hope you're. Hope it helps you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. That was, that was wonderful. Yeah. You, have, you, you have quite a gift. Um, your voice <laughs> is so... I mean, I could have drifted off. Yes. Your <laughs> voice is so calming. You need to... Um, you need to put this on. I don't know. I'm so dated. Tate is everywhere. Anymore. <laughs> and people, on a record. <laughs> you, need exactly. record you need to record them. And, yeah. They're really yeah. going to help a lot of people out there. I don't know if you have that already, but if not. Yeah. No, I, I have some recordings, but I'm working on it. I've been waiting for my three-year-old to go to school so yeah. I can have a silent house to, you know, make nice recordings. Yeah. Very for calm, soothing. yeah. 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 Your, your voice is healing for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. I had a nice Piscean I, energy. <laughs> I had one time, uh, I, I didn't realize, I mean, knew my voice was okay, but, you know, not bad or anything. But I remember I had a, I picked up the phone one time to put a call in for a friend and this guy picked up and I had no idea that, you know, he was blind and like his hearing was his, his only way of really like picking up on a lot of things. And he told his wife, he's like, she's got the nicest voice. <laughs> and I was like, you know, he was just like, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm good for blind people. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you're good for no. you're good for everyone yeah so, uh, so yeah. We, we you know need to end here unfortunately but um what uh, do you I, I should ask you huh, huh what do you do for balance in your life in my life stupid question <laughs> ask you <laughs> well first i scream then i remember that i have tools <laughs> then then i breathe and then i ground and then i yeah the, the nice part about doing some audio recordings is that i can do them to myself too sure. you know yeah um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thank you um, so much for being oh with God. us. You're so welcome. Thank you for playing, you guys. Um, yeah, that was happy, fun. Happy back. And, oh, and then before what? we go, I have one tiny little thing because I want to make an offering. Um, so uh, I've so we've set up a splash page. If you go to allbrightyourself.com forward slash balance, 
that will get you to a splash page where if you sign up for my e-newsletter, it'll take you to another page where there'll be some kind of lovely offering. I'm pretty sure either for free or very discounted. Um, so it'll be something special. I haven't decided what exactly it will be yet, but you know, that's the best way to also just keep up on all of my offerings anyway. Uh, but I will offer something very special for the Beacons of Balance audience. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Thank you thank for you. that. Yeah. You thank bet. you, Bob, for that amazing. I know. My husband said that also. Thank you. <laughs> so. Joanne. Right. Thank you, Arlene. It was a delight to work with you. Let me, if you want to connect after this about any pain you've been having, we can try something. We'll see how anything goes. I'll go deeper. Um, yep. and, and Joanne, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you oh so much gosh, for right. inviting me in here. You're I'm honored. You're one of my many blessings and a very important blessing in my life on, on, on all levels. So, yeah, we love you too. Thank you. And back. <laughs> Thanks. So Joanne, anything else you'd like to, uh... um, just make sure you see, um, Jane's amazing website. Uh, I'll break yourself. There are uh, several amazing, uh, grounding exercises on there as well. Yeah. So check that out. Thank, Thank you. you again. It's still, still work in progress. We're adding all the time. So just, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you, you everyone for being Thank here. You. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you again yeah. for watching, listening. Um, get out of here. For those that are listening and can't see me, I'm pointing to my head and going here into your heart. Always yeah. remember, be the beautiful beacons of light that you are. Right. Send that light out to everybody that you meet mm -hmm. with today. Smile at everyone. Yes. Yeah. Things. And mm -hmm. about you. You are important. And that's why we're here. We're here collectively for all of us, for the world. We're so needed. We're all needed, you know. each and every one of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.